Hey folks, um, I was in Home Depot. I had to pick up some uh, gas cells and a uh, some nails for the new pass load uh, finish nailer. And I happened to see that these were on sale. We have here a set of Milwaukee hole saws with uh, some larger sizes. The ones I have, the other set I have is uh, it's a Bosch set. It's a nice set, but uh, they, I think it only goes up to like an inch and a quarter. Um, I don't have any, mostly that was for uh, electrical knockouts, the sizes I had there. But this has um, some larger sizes in it. So it was only 20 bucks and there are, um, let's see what it says. It says inch and a half, two inch, two and an eighth, and two and a quarter. And they're also throwing in two free ones, an inch and a quarter and an inch and three quarters. So that covers a fair range here. So let's, uh, let's open this up. Let's see, let's cut the tape. Open that up. It's just got a little latch on it. It's nice, the case is nice, got a little handle on it. And we'll open this up and see what we got here. So we got, uh, here they all are, and they are, the first thing I'm noticing, is I do not see, oh, okay there we go I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this on the camera the sizes are stamped into the body of this the hole saw and um, so once the paint wears off which it's going to do as soon as you start using them you'll still be able to tell which size you're looking at so that ha that one happens to be a two inch but that's good I was wondering how they were going to handle that because a lot of them just have the paint on them and then as soon as you start using them, the paint's gone and that's it. Um, got a little, uh, little advertising thing here trying to tell you uh, other sizes and other things you can buy. I don't need that. I might want to hold on to the little sheet they gave you. I thought it was just advertising but apparently it's um, it's explaining. On one side it tells you, you know, what size uh, hole saws are available but the other, back side of it has a sheet showing you what RPM you should use. If you're using this on a handheld drill you're not going to be able to control it that precisely anyway but on a drill press uh, you can set the RPM so you may want to hang on to that little sheet um, keep it somewhere as a reference because um, if you are drilling various things, steel, stainless steel, whatever, they had cast iron, there are different RPMs that they recommend so you don't burn the saw up. So you probably ought to hang on to that. And this should be the Arbors in here, and it is. So we have the main Arbor itself. There are some spare drill bits. There's two of those in there, which is good. And I want to just get it out. And there's a hex key to uh, there should be a set screw holding that arb that that um, drill bit in there. Yeah, there it is. So there's a set screw right there. Is that the right one? Let's see. Does that fit? No, that doesn't fit. That's not it. There is the set screw. That looks like the set screw. Let me fiddle with this for a minute. A little funky issue here. I think something wasn't quite tightened by the factory. So what you're supposed to do is tighten the... Uh, supposed to put the screw, the, uh, the hole saw itself, onto the arbor. There are some notches in the hole saw and you line them up with the pins or they're actually technically called dogs on the uh, on the sleeve here and then you slide that up well something wasn't quite tight and uh, the sleeve is supposed to stop at that point and not go any further I think something was loose because when I pulled it the sleeve came all the way off and I don't know how well you can see it there there's a little set screw right there and behind, behind that, there's a spring and a tiny little ball bearing, which fits into a groove on the arbor. 
and uh, it prevents this from sliding off and I don't think that was tightened enough at the factory. When I pulled it, it came off and the ball started rolling all over the place so I got a little confused about how that worked. But basically, um, all you do is screw this on, line up the dogs and pop that up and then it's ready to go. So the, the actual driving of the uh, hole saw itself is done with those little posts there and as I said they are technically called dogs I'm not sure why but that's what they uh, that's what they call if you ever look inside a manual transmission on a, uh, on a uh, um, car uh, where the gears mesh together you'll see little uh, things like this little protrusions that and the dogs that hold, pull the gears together so that's uh, that's what those are so that's how that works so if you need to change the uh, if you break the bit um, you just pull this pull the sleeve all the way down and then they give you the hex key to fit in there and there's a set screw which loosens up and you can take the bit out and the bits have a uh, a flat on one side of it and you want to make sure that flat goes underneath the set screw so it was nice they gave you two extra bits that's good we got the, uh, the key there the, the hex key for that the arbor goes back in there and so far the only thing I've seen that was a little bit funky is uh, it appears that this little cover is uh, pops out of there kind of easily. It's not very secure. So uh, the only fault I've found with it so far, but that's relatively minor. Put that back in there and close that up. Uh, one other little quirk, I think, I'm about to discover. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you can't grab the lid and pull this little box out of there. You have to grab the box because the lid just pops right out. Now that's a minor defect. It's not nothing to do with the functioning of the uh, hole saws themselves, obviously. Um, when you put this back in here, you got to make sure that the, the two bits and the Allen wrench are down in the narrower part because otherwise when you put this in here, it sticks up too far and you can't close the lid. So that, uh, what I can see so far, is the only defect with the whole setup. And these hole saws are bimetal. So what they have done is, they're not carbide tipped, but the body of the hole saw is uh, a tougher steel. It's designed to take shock. So it has a little more give to it. But the teeth are harder so that and they're welded on there and the harder teeth prevent the uh, make it uh, stay sharp longer so uh, that's typical of uh, hole saw construction you have the bimetal effect i should have mentioned um, the smallest size has these little slots in it to take those dogs but the large all the rest of them are big enough that there's two holes two sets of holes in the bottom and you just line the sets of holes up and then uh, slide the slide the sleeve down onto it. So, for example, with this one, uh, I'm screw it all the way on. It will not necessarily line up with the uh, with the set of holes when you screw it all the way down. So you just back it off a little bit, and then you shove that through, and the dogs come through, and that locks it to the shaft. So let's give this a try and see how it works. One uh, slight inconvenience is the arbor is too large to fit into a um, impact driver. So uh, apparently these, this particular set was made to be used just in a regular drill with a chuck. Uh, minor inconvenience because if you're drilling things this large, you're probably going to use a drill. If you're, excuse me, if you're making holes this large, you're probably going to use a drill anyway. But um, the uh, that is a minor inconvenience because it will not be, you can't use this in a uh, in an impact driver. The hex on this is too large. Let's try this a little bit. I got a piece of 2x4 here. Let's see if it, uh, see how well it cuts. Alright, that's good. It cuts really good. Uh, it's good if you're doing a deep hole to come. To pull back a little bit every once in a while like I, like I was doing there to clear the chips out but that cut uh, 
Yeah, that cut right through that. <clears throat> so that's good. So I think this was a good set for 20 bucks. And uh, I think you'll find it's, uh, it's on sale at the moment. This is uh, December 28th, I believe. It's still on sale until January 2nd, I believe, at Home Depot. So if you happen to grab it, um, and I think the regular price was 30 bucks, which is still not a bad price. So, uh, oh, okay, I just discovered something. Uh, there are posts in the box to hold the arbors, but I just found out, one of them came out, that they are in fact uh, movable. So, if you uh, wanted to, you could rearrange this a little bit. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I guess that was so they could use uh, one one box for uh, various sets, but uh, that was cool. So they just pop out, sort of. Well, they don't pop out easily. I guess you, have, you turn them a little bit and they pop out. Uh, so you could uh, rearrange this a little bit if you wanted to, but uh, for me it's okay as is. So just to, something to be aware of. Nice feature on these is that there's holes in the side of the hole saw. So that the when you uh, the waste piece when you drill through is going to get stuck in there when you pull the the hole saw back out of the material um, what was cut is going to be stuck in there and this gives you a chance to get a screwdriver in there and pry it out um, I've had other ones where that doesn't have the holes and sometimes it's a real booger to get those uh, get the waste out so that's another good feature. All right, so for uh, twenty bucks I think this is going to be very useful. I know I can do a lot with it. And I uh, appreciate you watching as always, and appreciate you subscribing, and you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.